This is what a blimp looks like when the government throws hundreds of millions of dollars into the project. And this is what it looks like when a small aerospace company sets out to prove there's a cheaper way to fly at the edge of space. The propellers that steer this airship are driven by electric scooter motors. We're going to be setting the world altitude record for airships. You know, balloon that you drive around and can control and fly. The government wants a fleet of high altitude airships so it can put surveillance cameras over terrorist training camps or carry communications equipment. This has been one of the realms that only the giant aerospace guys have been playing in. And they haven't been playing very well and have a lot of failures. The big blimp with the $150 million price tag flew only to 30,000 feet before a malfunction forced it to crash land in a forest. The airship built by Sacramento's JP Aerospace for less than $30,000 survived a beating as it passed through the jet stream. The shear was throwing the vehicle all over the place, it would tip up, tip down, every time it'd right itself and be fine. It climbed to 95,000 feet and beat the previous airship altitude record by four miles. But the notion that we could throw together something, just our little amateur group, and succeed where they have failed is considered, you just can't do that. Neither airship is ready to become a low-cost alternative to spy satellites. But at least for now, the new world airship altitude record belongs to a small Sacramento aerospace company that flew to the top of the world and back on some bright ideas and a couple of scooter motors.